the, the church, the representation of God's business is in trouble. Why is it in trouble? Because people, I heard that scripture say the, 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 the kingdom of God suffer violence and the violence take it by force. If you take this thing and you don't come in by the door, you're going against God's promise, God, against God's word. He said if, if anybody climb up into this thing any other way but by Jesus, the same as a thief and a robber. Thieves and robbers are representing God Thieves and robbers are representing God, misrepresenting God, and causing people in the world not to want to have nothing to do with the church. There's so much hell going on from uninformed, unholy ghost, non-holy ghost filled folk. People, pastors getting caught sleeping with women in the church. Fighting going on in the church. And people are putting this stuff on the internet. The internet is full of it. Somebody got to stand and take a step, a new approach. Somebody got to step out of themselves and say, I'm here to represent the true and living God. Somebody got to stand up and say, holiness is right, and then be holy. I can't make it into glory. Shout. Shout ain't going to get me there. Hallelujah ain't going to get me there. Glory ain't going to get me there. I can't play that guitar enough to get there. I can't even come to this building enough to go to New Jerusalem. It's going to take a life and a lifestyle. It's going to take realizing that God is real. This thing is real. This ain't no play pretty. Hallelujah. The Bible is fulfilling itself minute by minute. This world is getting wickeder and wiser. Hallelujah. The things that's going on, churches is linking together. Big time ministries. These people are saying, oh, we all serve one God. Oh, they serve Allah and we serve the living. It's the same God. But the wise say, if you can't believe in Jesus, Uh, you can't even get to God but through him. Hallelujah. It's, it's, time, it's time to lay it on the line. It's time to make up your mind whether you want to, I'm going to make it plain, whether you want to go to New Jerusalem or whether you want to burn for eternity. Huh? And I'm, I'm, I got good news that, that if you want to go to New Jerusalem, you can go. Hallelujah. If you want to be saved, you can be saved. If you want to be a dummy, if you want to be silly, if you want to act like I'm young or I'm old and I got it, you can go to hell by yourself. Hallelujah. If you want to sit up with mess in your chest about your, good God Almighty, if the folk in the church got mess, how in the world can we save the world? Oh, yeah. When we stuck on penny handy stuff in the house. Yeah. How in the world can we reach anybody out there and we can't reach each other? Yeah. Hallelujah. How can we save anybody? Yeah. It's time to step up. It's time to lay it on the line. Yeah. Hallelujah. We sometimes get caught up worrying about the wrong stuff. Yeah. Hallelujah. We need to do first things first. The Bible said, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Don't just seek the God. Seek his righteousness. God, show me how to be right. I've been doing it my way all this time. I've been having a lot of problems. I've been having a lot of hang up. I've been getting caught up on stuff. We have to come clean with our own self. Yeah, yeah. Every now and then, you have to shake yourself. You know what? I can do better than this. You know what? I've been stuck right here for a long time, and I need some help, Lord. I need some help to get out of this. You know why I say living the same house can't get along? That don't make sense. All right, all right. Something is wrong. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Come on, come on, come on. Me and my brother say that can't sit by each other in church on, because of some position or some fleshly condition that has a hold on us. I'm saying God saved me and I can't speak to certain yeah. folks because of something I think in my big head. Right. Yeah. Who can you help? This is business. 
concerned about your soul enough that if you're messing up, I've got enough Jesus in me. I'm saved enough. I'm spiritual enough that I can come to you and not go to somebody else. If you're messing up, I need to, I, if the Holy Ghost in me tells me that I got to love you enough to come to you. We don't want to be touched. We don't want no, we got our click and a certain group of folk we fool with and don't want nobody saying nothing but them people. You ain't the pastor. I ain't trying to be the pastor. I know my place. Hallelujah. God got blessed. We've been told he got blessing that he want to pour into vessels. But you got to get rid of, in order to get a new approach, in order to get something new, you got to get rid of the old. Yeah. That's it. That's it. He ain't going to pour nothing new in you, and you still got that old mess in you. Yeah. Oh, glory, hallelujah. Yeah. God wants somebody that's real. God wants somebody that's sanctified, yeah. not satisfied. I say, Lord, sanct what's sanctified? I'm Holy Ghost filled and sanctified. Well, how sanctified are you? How much time, how much effort, how much energy do you put aside? Sanctified means set aside. How much time do you set aside for God? The sustainer of your life. The one that's giving you the blessings you got. How much time do you spend in communion with him? My life is set aside, God. I want to do this. Nevertheless, whatever your will is. That's it, that's it. What is your will for me? What would you have me to do? What would you have me to be? I can sing, but God, I don't want you singing right now. I need you to sit down. I need you to sit there and get sanctified. I don't, I don't, I don't need you to I need you to sit down and accept my word. I need you to be still. I need you to be still that I can endure. He told them, told them people, disciples, when they went to the upper room, he didn't tell y'all go up there. I'm sure up in three days. Y'all leave. He said, no, go up there, wait, and stay there until you be endued with power from on high. Won't it be good that this place, that these saints, that these sanctified Holy Ghost filled believers would be the ones that this body was so compact and so joined together and that fit so firmly that this group of baptized believers would be the believers that supply the necessities of the rest of the body of Christ. What if it was so tight here that other folk were coming? Will y'all, not you, 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 will y'all see God for us? We know God dwells in your midst. Your midst. How much better would our school system be if you that have been saved would go to school and be saved? can't let conditions and situations change All right. what we know. What do you mean? God has done great things for all of us here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And we know that. But what is it going to take? Are you going to handle your life like that? Because in a moment of time, in a moment of time, All right. All right. in a Moment of time, 